I may not, I may not be able to, because you know, of course, I'm close to the eight, I'm close to the forty than I am to twenty one. So, I'm, I look forward to going out there, and I don't look forward to. It's not gonna be. I'm not. I'm letting you guys know this right now. I'm not gonna be moving. No different from the Shane Mosley fight. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a brain depression. So hopefully we can meet in the, in the middle of the square circle. And every everybody that everybody that, that turned out and came here today. I just want to tell everybody thank you so much. I appreciate the support. <clears throat> to, all my, to all my Twitter fans, to everybody that's on Twitter, everybody that's on Ustream, just tune in to FloydMayweather.com. Um, try to read the positive stories because we got so, so, um, so much negative things going on in the world today. And I, you know, I sit right here and tell you guys right now, if it's something that I did, I tell you guys, okay, I did this. You know, as far as, you know, because I, I know everybody want to know. The arguments with, it was arguments with the security. You know, it's, I'm, I'm, you know, of course, I ain't going to say I'm young, but young black, and, young black and rich, you go through things in life. You know, you got, you got certain obstacles in life that we go through, but I'm one of the strong individuals, and I can survive through anything. I'm not, I can survive through anything. I have a, a team that's behind me. That's truly amazing, and to, and to come into the sport of boxing and to make hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, it's, it's a blessing. But I got to take my hat off. I didn't do it by myself. The fans, the fans, y'all done that. The media, the media, y'all done that. Y'all kept me relevant. Even being away from the sport for 16 months, you guys kept me relevant. Richard Schaefer, you done a hell of a job. You done a hell of a job with Golden Boy Promotion. Oscar De La Hoya, keep your head up. I wish you nothing but the best. Janera Hernandez, may you rest in peace. Um, you gave me my, of course, you gave me my, my first opportunity. And um, like I said before, without the fans, without the fans, I love you guys so much. I really do. And for the fans, that's, and even for Victor Ortiz, I want you guys to, to tune in. You know, tune in. Victor Ortiz is a hell of a guy, like you said before. Uh, um, 34 fights, th 33 or 34 fights. Every time he hit somebody, he touched the canvas. So I, I, I must know that making me work that much harder because that's something that I didn't know. So, you know, I must, I'm always trying to push myself. I'm always trying to push myself um, to the limit. You know, before, you know, one thing I do when I wake up in the morning, before I judge anyone, I must, you know, I must take care of my situation first. Or at this, you know, of course, like I said before, Money Mayweather, you know, out with the old and with the new. It used to be Pretty Boy Floyd, but you can't be 30 years old, over 30 years old, calling yourself Pretty Boy Floyd. <laughs> so, I mean, you just, you just really do your, if you really just do your homework on my career, if you guys didn't know, you know, when I fought Oscar De La Hoya, I fought Oscar De La Hoya at a weight that he wanted to fight at. And no, disres and no, and no disrespect to Oscar. In, or Golden Boy, because that's a company that I love to do business with. I wish that Don King and Bob Aram could do business like Golden Boy and Mayweather Promotions, because at the end of the day, it's about, it, it, like I said, at the end of the day, it's about the two fighters, and it's about the fans. It's about the fans. Um, Richard, I mean, um, Ortiz, I want to take my hat off to you and say congratulations for bouncing back from that from that loss, you came back, you're a tough fighter. September 17th, I know you're gonna be there and you're gonna bring your best. And uh, you know, me and my team are gonna do the same thing. And I wanna tell you, the trainer, you've done a hell of a job with the fighter. Keep up the good work. Richard Schaefer, you're doing a hell of a job with your company, HBO. Of course, I'm loyal to you guys. You know, we, got, we, we go through ups and downs, I'm, and I apologize that I wasn't here yesterday. You know, I was with my, you know, taking care of some stuff back at home, of course. You know, I have a family, I have children, you know, we go through things. But I'm here today. I'm sorry for being late. Please forgive me, but I had to get my, you know, my three children dressed. Um, you know, that's being a father, being a parent, you know. Um, you know, um, Chantel Jackson, I got to wish my better half, you know, nothing but love. She's been behind me, you know, through it all. And not just, you know, behind every... Behind every great champion or every great man, there's not just one great woman, there's great women. And I'm not saying that, I'm far as, far as your mother, your mother, your sisters, 
your assistants, you know, you know, everybody that's behind the company. I just want to thank everybody, thank all the sponsors, thank my security, thank my staff, thank the fans, and thank the media for keeping me relevant. I'll see you guys September 17th. Thank you. Thank you, Floyd, and thank you, everybody. Today, we really saw not only two great fighters, but we saw two gentlemen, and that, in the end, is what the sport is all about. Thank you very much, Floyd. It's a pleasure to work with you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, and thank you, Victor. I know it's going to be a great fight. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go down in front, please. We have shooters in the back. Everybody be respectful. They're here. After we're done with the photos, we're going to have deadline, media first, TV on this side, print on that side. Deadline only. Then we'll do the next. Deadline media only, TV here, print on the other side. Then we'll switch it and then we'll take care of everybody else. Thank you. <laughs> 